talk in a little bit more detail about that fatty acid structure. So we um, the, we know that, it, uh, that our fatty acids are composed of this hydrocarbon tail. Specifically, that hydrocarbon tail is always going to have an even number of carbons. And that actually goes back to how we synthesize these fatty acids, which are synthesized fr um, from adding acetyl-CoA's together. And what you will remember from our previous lectures is that an acetyl group is a two carbon unit. So our fatty acids have an even number of carbons in their hydrocarbon tail. Um, if, if we look at these uh, fatty acid tails in a little bit more detail, we see that one end is called the methyl end. And so methyl is a carbon with three hydrogens attached to it. I actually wrote it out here. Um, so that's the, the methyl end of our fatty acid. And then the other end of our fatty acid is the carboxyl end. And that's the end that has the, the, the acid group on it. So the carboxyl end over here, the, whoops, and the methyl end over here. Um, and then, as I mentioned previously, this uh, hydrocarbon chain, it can be completely saturated like it is in this example where we have only single bonds in between each of the carbons. Um, and so this is a saturated fatty acid. And these, the, this, this is important because saturated fatty acids can pack really tightly together. You could kind of imagine just how we could have another fatty acid kind of spooning the first one snuggling right in. And so these fatty, uh, these saturated fatty acids can pack really tightly. And what that means is that um, foods are, that are made primarily of saturated fatty acids are going to be solid at room temperature. So here are some examples of cheese, which of course are a great example of uh, saturated fatty acid foods. And then if we look over here, we see that the hydrocarbon tail can also have some double bonds in it, and that would make it an unsaturated fatty acid. So we have one category over here where we see only one double bond, that would make it a monounsaturated fatty acid, mono for one. And then down here, we also see that there are examples of fatty acids that have two or more double bonds in them, and those would be categorized as polyunsaturated fat fatty acids, or PUFA. So frequently you'll see these um, abbreviations, MUFA for monounsaturated fatty acid and PUFA for polyunsaturated fatty acid. And again, what becomes really apparent is that by adding these sat these saturate or by adding these double bonds into the fatty acid tails, that it causes kinks in the structure. And these kinky um, fatty acids cannot pack as tightly together. And so that means that um, uh, foods that are made of primarily mono or polyunsaturated fatty acids are going to be liquid at room temperature. And so we see an example of that here. So this is some olive oil, which is pri uh, primarily monounsaturated fatty acids.